was sure. Identities, umhlobo zwatiri. The show that talks about your social lives, your economic life, your political life, religious life, everything that affects our lives. I have the privilege today of having us talk about body politics, a topic very close to my heart. To help me discuss this topic today is my dear sister. Welcome, Rejoice Makawa, to the show. Thanks, Nyari, and hello, viewers. And I have a young woman, a beautiful young woman here today to tell us about what this all means to young women. Welcome, Melissa, to the show. Thank you, Nyari. And today we want to talk about the issue of skin lightening and bleaching. Tell me, my sister Rejoice, how has that been for you? What's been your experience with skin lightening and bleaching? Nyari, it would seem that the trend at the moment um, in, in recent times is that um, our girls or our women are under a lot of pressure mm -hmm. to, to look beautiful. Right. And beautiful seems to be being defined by how light you look. This, this term, yellow bone, seems to be taking over and a lot of people seem to um, associate being light with right. being beautiful. And that has been my experience in recent times. You are a woman who cuts across a couple of generations in your, as, as far as your own age is concerned, but as far as also your work experience is concerned. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me, how was it in your time of growing up from being young to teenage? And then now as a, ma a maturing woman, how is that for, for, for you? You know what, Nyari? Um, the, the issue of looking beautiful, um, through lightening or changing the shade of your skin yeah. has always been there, right. even generations before mine. Mm. Um, I remember in my mother's times, uh, a product that was called Ambi. Uh -huh. They use, and they okay. called it Kuyuza. Right. We now call it bleaching, okay. but it's Kuyuza. Right. And Madzmai, I Zora Ambi, right. even before our time. Right. In our time, as technology has come up, mm -hmm. my products are going to change and right. become more refined and what have you. Right. But it has always been there and people have always been known to do it. But why are they doing it? And maybe I'll hear from Melissa. How is skin bleaching and skin lightening in your generation, Melissa? Well, in my generation, I would like to think that um, bleaching is actually a choice. But then behind that choice, um, comes insecurities, uh, different reasons why people are bleaching. It right. could include like uh, insecurities. Someone wants to protect like, uh, let's take for instance from my campus at school. Mm -hmm. um, someone would want to protect like their relationship, right? And then mm -hmm. um, probably they have like a, a boyfriend and then the boyfriend has cheated on them uh, with a light skinned girl mm. and then they would want to impress and secure that certain relationship so they would tend to bleaching so it's all a, it's all about uh, being content with um, how you look a young woman is cheated on mm -hmm. that's a problem already and then instead of addressing the problem that somebody is cheating on them they go on to think that it's their fault that this person is cheating how 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 does that happen for young women well, um, it all comes back to like what I was saying before. It all yeah. comes back to the way you were brought up. Like, uh, you know, the way we were when we were growing up that uh, girls are always inferior to, to boys, right? Okay. So it comes back to that issue where you're saying it's your problem. Right. Th that's the reason. Like, you are the reason why uh, the, 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 the male happening. counterpart is mm. cheating on you. Wow. Nyari, it's not even just about the young women. Yeah. I think it's just a, a women's phenomenon. Okay. We've been socialized to believe that we have a role to play in pleasing our men. Wow. And if our men go out there and stray, it is because of something that we have done. The responsibility has always been on women. That's a traditional and a but cultural I issue. I'm hearing that mm. and I agree with that yes at what point are we going to take responsibility as women and say at some point yes yes i understand women who are under pressure but at some point as women do you not think that we are supposed to then get to a place where we're empowered and define who we want to be as that's women? an ideal situation my sister okay. in an ideal world we should be so empowered but what that we make rejoice that, that that we make decisions 
based on who we are and where we want to go. Right. But at the moment, we live in a world where the rules of engagement are determined by men. So I can understand a young girl being under pressure to bleach her skin purely because her boyfriend has gone and cheated. Because he has cheated with a lighter-skinned girl. She then thinks, ah, sakandika no yuzao. Mm -hmm. right. Then this man is not going to go and cheat on me. This right. is, and that is the problem, it is historical. That is right. how we are raising the girl children. Until such a time as we socialize our girls to become content with who they are. Okay, so Melissa, we're hearing what Rejoice just said, the mature women coming in, in the mix. And also her, narrat her narrative that it's actually us women. But coming to you, we, we interacted earlier on and you told me that you've never felt the pressure to bleach. How is it that we on the right have a young woman who is so desperate to please a man, to bleach? And then on the left, we've got another woman, a, another young woman who's never felt the pressure to bleach. How is that? I think it all comes back to values. Like, what do you value most? Like... As a young lady, I am content with my dark skin, right? Mm -hmm. So even if um, men would uh, would go to another lady um, because she's light skinned, well, I'll let him like go ahead okay. and because that's what he wants. Because I was but gonna then... come and ask you to say, <laughs> Melissa, isn't it that just that you've never been put on the spot to need to change? Mm -hmm. Usually, is it not that probably you've never been like hit by this cyclone that oh well he went with a yellow bone therefore I need to be a yellow bone? Well, uh, you know, I've had. Um, that kind of experience but then like i'm saying it mm -hmm. comes back to your values what do right. you value most right. as a person mm. as a young person and it comes back to the to that essence that are you empowered but then like rejoice was saying mm -hmm. that we still have a patriarchal society mm -hmm. where a, a where a girl child is meant to believe that um she is inferior to the boy child mm. so hence um even if a man cheat even if a man do all sorts it all comes back to that responsibility that it is my problem. So, yeah, that's the reason why um, most young women are tending to, um, to bleach. To bleach. You had it, viewers. Um, we're going to take a break and join us in the next segment. Don't go away. Um, a show that talks about your issues and today we're discussing about the body politics issues of politics of beauty where we're discussing issues of skin lightening and bleaching and before we went away we spoke to the ladies we were hearing how how women begin to think about bleaching or skin lightening um, and the young women were also t telling us about what it is that causes them to want to bleach uh, the inadequacies, the insecurities and in keeping relationships. We learned about the issues of patriarchy and socialization but it, won't, it wouldn't be a discussion to talk about these issues that affect all of us without the men. Um, I am very happy to introduce you guys to an amazing guy called Mitchell. And Mitchell, I know you as a contra controversial guy, but <laughs> <laughs> but we hear your story. We want to hear your story in this segment. But I hope that you can help us discuss this issue. Mitchell, uh, tell us about, you had the topic, you had the ladies talking. What is it that is about you men that, that drives women to, to want to bleach? <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, okay, uh, first and foremost, th thank you for having me on your show. You're welcome. Um, what drives women to want what, to... What is it about, about us men now? that drives women and girls to want to bleach? Okay, I'm inclined to, 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 to side with what uh, Rejoy said and even right. um, what Melissa was saying. Right. The, the, the concept of socialization and it said that uh, we raise our lovely daughters right. uh, to assume and to believe that the whole existence of a woman is to be called Mrs. Something. Okay. To, to be married. So, uh, when, when women 
at some point. I think it's it's a new trend. It's a it's a, it's a 21st century trend. It started around. Ah, but well, it's been around because there was yeah. Ambi back oh, in the my, day. My days, my 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 names are Kuchinja. Yeah. Mm. Amaga maya chinja like today you hear about skin bleaching, yeah. yellow bone, and very very user. Yeah, I mean, it's always it's, it's, always it's, been it's been the there. real, but the concept of bleaching and skin like it no, is it, 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 it goes now. Uh, the statistics are quite damning in that right. uh, a recent survey uh, alluded to the fact that almost. 70% of men would prefer a lighter skinned woman wow. to a darker skinned woman even though they are, their beauty is at par. Wow. And it goes back again to the socialization not only of women but of us. Why do we, yes, why, why do we have doors, you know, like those Barbie doors, <sighs> okay. that are lighter skinned than doors of but, color? Well, I would say that mm. because it, I think those are now talking about the, the, the issues even of uh, issues of access, issues of how we started with these dolls. Vakatanga mm. dolls, mm. Danani, these are, are, are white created dolls, and they were, they, it's immediate, it's probably no, no, Allow natural. me to say that it's, it's, it's actually systematic and institutional, and I don't want to work political, but it may be. Uh, it's very political. The personal is political. The personal is political, all right. Yes. It may be, it may <laughs> actually be a systematic and an institutional attack on what you defines know, us as black. to mean that I could tell it, I need. Ah, institutional and political. Uh -huh. Why is it everything that is good is deemed white, white magic, right. but Uroiwa black magic? Right. Um, the, in, 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 the knight in shining armor by Mafiri Matunona Chikura Sevana is always white, but the villain is black. Do, 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 do you get where we go? I do. So, so we, we, we grow up as people who, sorry, who love things that are white right and disdain that is which would is you great. then think that is it probably that also our men are also victims of, of socialization to say my next question was pressure <laughs> um I, I, I would say from from tv because whether we like it or not yeah. uh entertainment or but media let me get to uh, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, the media is now a form of socialization, right? right. And uh, the, the heroes that we have as guys, right. for instance, soccer stars, yes. they come from Ivory Coast, Nigeria, and they go and play in the English right. Premiership. Yeah. When it's award ceremony and mm. they are with their wives or right. girlfriends on red carpets, mm -hmm. a very dark guy from Nigeria yes. is with a, wi a white woman. Yes, and to some, to the easily impressionable, that becomes a sign of arriving. What does Mitchell define as arriving? Is it not that maybe if a light skinned woman mm. or a white skinned woman is part of that? inadequacy then mm -hmm. when you arrive at something then you think i should then have that which i, I couldn't have would you look at mitchell whose ancestors were brutalized emasculated by white people right back in the day right due to colonialism right it's an ugly and um, a hateful past but it happened right right my ancestors were brutalized and emasculated right okay. and then to me now the very same people or the kith and kin of the same people who were emasculating my ancestors she becomes my woman or my wife. Someone may see that as having arrived. Because what you have then done <laughs> is you've gone and conquered that which brutalized and made you a slave before. Okay, I love that definition. But is it also not true that there is also because um, especially in our, in our context, especially in Africa or in Zimbabwe, where we have fewer um, maybe white folks, mm. where then it is probably something not necessarily in the conquering, but also in the wanting to arrive with ah, murungu, akasorora murungu. But not in the sense of arriving, but in the sense of saying um, something to be superior. You understand the difference that I'm trying to I hear to you. Uh -huh. It's multifaceted. Mm. Yes. I think there's an element of it. In our, in our being colonized, mm. our minds were colonized. Mm -hmm. And our minds were colonized to believe that everything Western right. and yes. everything white is better yes. than black. Mm -hmm. right. And in that now, there's that element that wants to then uh, be white, mm -hmm. be Western, yes. because no one's really nanny so than, the black. than the black. Yes. And yet the other side did what right. Just to show them 
kuti they are not better than us saka zvine zvine ine nangu ine ari yeah it would seem it would seem, it seem, it would maybe, seem that it, maybe 2 or 3% <laughs> So what do we say, Mitchell, as we wrap up this segment? What is it that we can say to the listener? Because this what, what, what I can say to the listener okay. as a man primarily is this. As a woman, if the moment you become confident in your skin, right. understand that you're going to become very, very attractive. You have become, you're going to, you look at Lupita Nyong'o, that uh, exactly. Kenyan, mm -hmm. very dark and... Oh, you look at us here. Yeah. Oh, 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 right. Why yes. go to Lupita? Oh, okay. What's I, your I, problem? <laughs> okay, I, I, I look at the three wonderful women who are surrounding yeah, yeah. me here. Very comfortable in, in yeah, your own skin. Own skin that that yeah. becomes attractive. Do you know, that, I had a hard time getting somebody who bleached to come on the show. But anyway, we will, we will get into that. We, we finally got, but please, yeah. That, that becomes attractive. And secondly... As a woman, again, yeah. speaking on behalf of uh, on behalf of men, the, don't don't lose yourself, right? Trying to right. To, to, to gain please. Mitchell, because you gain Mitchell, right? Who suppose wants a slim, bleached yeah. girl, mm -hmm. and then things will not work out with yeah. Mitchell. And then Brian wants a full-bodied woman like with, with, a, with, with, with a melanin intact. What Precisely. are you going to do? <laughs> Viewers, you had it. Amazing, hot discussion here where I'm joined with Rejoice Makawa. Um, we have uh, Mitchell, Mitchell Gumbo. Yes. And we have <laughs> Melissa uh, helping us discuss about the issues of body politics, specifically about skin lightening and, and bleaching. Um, we get into our next segment. Don't go away because when we come back, we have an amazing dermatologist doctor joining us. I started using skin lightening products two years ago when I had chicken pox and was trying to get rid of the scars that were left by the chicken pox. I saw an advert on the internet that said that I was going to get wonderful results and I saw the product on the street for a very reasonable price which I went for and I bought. But after three weeks of using the product, uh, my face started peeling off in general where there were scars they got darker and the parts that were not affected by the chicken pox started um, turning into an orangish color so in general my experience was terrible and I ended up having to go and see a dermatologist which in the end costed me more money so no I will never buy a skin lightening product ever again and I really regret what I had to do because of lack of knowledge Welcome back to this show, Identities Um Shlobo Shatiri, where today we're talking about the politics of beauty, where we are also talking about skin bleaching and skin lightening. You had what the young women had to say, you had what the mature women had to say, you had what our men are saying. In this segment, I have the privilege of having the amazing doctor, Dr. Mtangadura, the dermatologist. Doctor, welcome to the segment. Thank you. You had... Doctor, what the women are saying, what the men are saying in Zimbabwe. You also watched that video of the young woman who had to go out and bleach. But I want, before I speak to the doctor in you, I want to hear the father in you say something to the men out there, to the young men out there, to the young women out there, to the mothers out there. My advice to everybody is to be proud of what you are, to be proud of, what, of your natural skin color. Be grateful for it. Preserve it. Wow. Doctor, tell me what dermatology does. All right, I'll say dermatology is the study of the skin, hair and nails and the diseases associated with these organs. Does it also mean that if I wanted to come in and, and have a skin bleaching or lightening, uh, or lightening, you could do that for me? I normally don't don't do it, but there are some people who do have blemishes okay. on their skins, which they want bleached, so that the skin looks even. That I'll do. All right. Well, that so that's the medical part of yes. this. Yes. I want you to tell me, doctor, what has been your experience with your observation or your experience in your practice with men, women, young women about skin lightening and bleaching? Mm, in my practice, I haven't really encountered many problems. Right with men okay uh in regards to bleaching uh -huh. it's a practice that is affecting mostly women 
Okay. Yes. Right. I've seen, I've had terrible experiences. Okay. Yes. How terrible has been, how terrible is a terrible experience mm. in bleaching and skin lightening? It depends. People use various things for bleaching. Mm -hmm. Usually they use, in Zimbabwe, what is most common is the use of steroids. Ah. Potent tropical steroids. Wow. And creams containing mercury and yeah. creams containing hydroquinone. Right. Yes. So the major side effects of steroids is that they will thin the skin. Apart from okay. lightening the skin, they will mm -hmm. thin it. So if the skin becomes thin, it breaks easily. Okay. Stretch marks form easily. Wow. Yes. I think that explains it. Have you ever, I mean, viewer, have you ever been at a place where you see this woman is actually, so you, you can actually see things up, yes. you know, yes. nerve, you can actually see those nerves, the blood vessels, blood vessels mm. actually. Well, of course, we don't want to say every time we see somebody with those, we immediately judge them mm. as skin bleaching, but it's interesting. Bleaching or skin lightening has gone wrong. What is the youngest woman or the oldest woman that you've, ha that you've had to help? I've seen a 14 year old. A 14 year old yes, child? Yes. Wow. And as regards females, even up to the age of 60, I've seen them, they are bleaching. Wow. Yes. That, I think that is very much concerning to say across, it's across ages, it's across all women of all ages. Um, would you tell us, doctor, are there any good, is there anything good that could come out of skin lightening or skin bleaching? There is nothing good. Because depending on what, what, what substance you are using to bleach, right. there is always the danger that you alter the composition of melanin in your skin. Right. And melanin is a substance that protects us from the sun. Okay. So if you alter its composition, you are bound to be, get prone to skin cancers. Okay. Yes. Then, but I was reading, Dr. Way, I was seeing that skin lightening or skin bleaching could actually be used for medical reasons. If somebody has got vitiligo, which has affected over 50% of the body, the chances of repigmentation of the skin are almost nil. So in some cases, it is justified okay. to, to depigment the rest of the skin so that the skin color looks and, even. And how, how expensive is that? For instance, if I had that, how, how affordable is that for a standard Zimbabwean? It is not expensive at all. Okay. Yeah. So... And I was also reading that, so if I still wanted to do skin lightening, I was reading that the, a doctor could assist someone in skin lightening, even if I don't have a problem with skin or something, and it's just a, it's, it's just a, it's just a choice. What is your, what is your say on that? I, I, would, I would not uh, assist anyone in lightening the skin. For instance, mm -hmm. nowadays what is in fashion is this intravenous injection, glutathione and the glutathione tablets mm -hmm. for bleaching the skin. In August last year at a conference in Spain, right. and they did say that in the Philippines they had recorded over nine deaths from wow. the use of this Death glutathione. from skin lightening or yes. bleaching? Yes. Wow. And so what is it that you'd want as doctor to take away in terms of if there is a viewer who's watching you, who's probably holding tablets, who's at the verge of going for a skin lightening process or bleaching, a woman who's bleaching, and if I want to, to stop bleaching, what are the, the pros and cons to that? Do I need to say dermatologist, what is the procedure to stop and not have extensive bad side effects? I think it's always better to see your, your physician, your GP, right. and then if there are already any complications, he or she can always refer you to a dermatologist. Is it never too late? Is it ever too late to stop? No, it's never too late. Well, we had it for ourselves. We had the young women earlier on, the mature women. We had the men. Now we've just had uh, the dermatologist, amazing Dr. Mtanga Dura, who took time to come and speak to us. Um, we hope that this segment was helpful to you. As a segment, we hope that you, you were able to make decisions to be happy with uh, the color of your skin, to be able to build 
other sources of confidence rather than going for skin bleaching or skin light or skin lightening which is a danger itself which is taking away the person that you are uh, to please a person who could actually in the next moment uh, decide to leave you anyway the desire and the dream that we have is a, a world where every girl every woman is empowered or every woman is able to take pride to take confidence in themselves in other things health uh, education self educate this is identities umhlobo zwatiri with nyara dzomashamombe until next time goodbye